Right, let's get round now the difference between a control test and a substantive test. So, a control test and a substantive test. Control test is the ability to detect and the ability to prevent and the ability to correct material misstatements occurring in the financial statements. Okay, so what controls to make sure material misstatements don't happen? Detect them, prevent them, correct them. So the sort of things we're looking at is segregation of duties. You don't get one person taking in the money and recording the money because they may steal the money. That would be a material misstatement. It could be somebody setting credit limits uh, and credit limits being kept to. So how does that affect uh, stop material misstatements? Well, if you're giving too much credit, in the end, there's going to be more bad debts, isn't there? And that's how it would be a material misstatement in the accounts in the end because of extra, you might need a new provision for bad debts or something or an increased one because you've increased the credit limits beyond what you should have done. So controls are there to stop these material misstatements. Substantive tests don't look at the controls. They look at the figures in the accounts directly and try and detect the misstatements directly. And when I say statements, I mean the individual transactions on the income statements, the balances on the balance sheet on the SFP and the disclosures. You go to them all individually and you think, hmm, are you wrong? Is there a material misstatement in here? Okay, so we said with substantive tests, then you detect them directly and you detect them directly at the assertion level. So I said you go to each individual item and you go through the assertions of them. So you go through sales, you go through cost of sales, you go through receivables, payables at the assertion level. Now, if you remember, the assertions are do these, let's say it's receivables, do these, do these receivables actually exist? Are these receivables complete? Are these receivables accurate? Are these receivables classified correctly? Are they really receivables? And has the cutoff been done correctly? Are these receivables in the right year? So a substantive test tests all those. You know, does it exist? Is it complete? Is it accurate? Etc. So back to control tests. So if you remember, control tests are making sure that the controls detect, prevent, and correct any material misstatements occurring in the accounts. So the way we're going to do that then for us, us as auditors, when it comes to control tests, we need to understand the control and then try to beat it. That's why it's a control test. Try and beat the control and hopefully you won't be able to and you think, good, the control is working. So for example, try and set up a customer with a greater than agreed credit limit. The system should say, eh, eh, and you know it's working well. Or you could just observe somebody setting up the setting up of a client and making sure that they give them the correct credit limit that they should do, the credit limit that they're authorised to give. So both of those would be control tests. Other types of control tests would be walkthrough tests where you literally follow a sales order or something all the way through the system until the cash is received and you make sure every control is working as you go along. Observation, that's also a substantive test as well, but it's also a, a control test. You can observe that the controls are being followed and computer assisted auditing techniques. That's basically software that does all the tests for you within the system. So it can test controls for you within the system. Substantive tests then, if you remember, they detect the material misstatements directly at the assertion level. You go through every item, whether it be a transaction or a balance or a disclosure, and you say, do they exist? Are they complete? Are they accurate? Are they classified correctly? Is it cut off correctly? Etc. So tests of assertions, you might see me refer to this to as A-E-I-O-U, because it's a nice way of remembering it, but this is basically what it is observation that'll be the o so observing uh something so you could go for to test that actually exists you could go observe it couldn't you inquiry so inquiry as ask management about something ask a lawyer about something confirmation get your own audit evidence okay you so that would be like an inspection as well get your audit in evidence to confirm from a third party ideally 
do a recalculation. That's the U, the the U in A E I A U recalculation or reperformance. Reperform the uh, the adding up of something yourself to make sure that you think it's right. And finally, analytical procedures as well are a substantive test because you could be looking at debtors and you could say, hang on, why are the receivables different from this year to last year? I want to know the reasons why, you know, if it's a, if it's a big difference. So that is substantive tests.